Let's get a couple of Tabasco peppers. Hey, greetings from Texas. All right, today on the Blackstone Griddle, we're gonna make gyoza. Gyoza is a Japanese version of pot stickers or steamed dumplings. So let me show you the ingredients. We're gonna do shrimp as a filler. So I have some um, gulf shrimp, which have been washed, deveined, and shelled. We have green onion. I have a shallot. I have some garlic. Um, I was gonna use two big cloves, but I ended up these little cloves. Kick it up a notch, I have Tabasco peppers from our garden. Um, these gyoza wrappers, I've made my own wrappers and it's just easier to buy these. I bought these at Randall's grocery store. You could buy them at any Asian market or in the international section of any big box store. We have for seasoning salt and white pepper. White pepper is traditionally used in Asian cooking. I like it. Um, it's what gives KFC its peppery flavor. And um, if you like pepper, go with white pepper when you're cooking. All right, we have cornstarch. It's gonna help bind the shrimp. We're gonna season it also with sesame oil and soy sauce. We have cooking oil. I have avocado oil in here. You want a neutral flavor oil. Don't use olive oil, um, especially if you're doing Asian cooking. And Chinese cooking wine. And for a dipping sauce, we're gonna use, um, I'm out of rice wine vinegar, so I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Oh, and garlic, chili oil. So let's put all this together. We're gonna to prep our veggies. You wanna do a fine mince on everything. If you really wanna do it, make it nice and easy, use a food processor. Again, we wanna mince these up really fine. Next is the garlic. Now our Tabasco peppers. And now our shrimp. season with the white pepper, some salt, a little bit of soy sauce, sesame oil, just a little bit of cooking wine. So we're going to take, um, for this amount, one teaspoon of cornstarch. And now we're just going to mix everything together. Now you can make this ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, you could bag it, put it in the freezer. Here's our filling. I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Our dipping sauce is really simple. We're just gonna take about it, I don't know, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. About a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. We got some of this garlic chili oil.
that's good enough for me. Okay, now what most people find is the difficult part. Um, the most important thing is don't overfill it. So I'm just using about a teaspoon. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of water. Now you can just use your finger. And we're gonna go around the edge. And then we're just gonna make it like a little taco. So now I'm gonna take this edge, I'm gonna push it over and pinch it. Push it over and pinch it. Push it over and pinch it. Okay. If you're having a hard time with that, you can just put the edges together and squeeze them together. So we're coming over, pinching, coming over, pinching, coming over, pinching. If something tries to squeeze out, just step it back in. Okay, last one. Okay, our gyoza is ready. Now you could put these in the refrigerator till you're ready to cook them, or you can freeze them just like this. And when you want to prepare them, you just take them out frozen, and it's the same cooking method. You just throw them right in the pan and steam them. All right, so we're gonna go out to the Blackstone griddle, and um, I'm gonna cook them out there. Now these, I just vacuum seal them up, what I don't use, and keep them in the freezer, and they're good for months. We're gonna cook these on a Blackstone griddle. Um, you're gonna need some kind of um, steam dome. Use whatever you can. If you don't have a steam dome, you can use foil. Um, if you're doing this in a skillet, whatever, just use the lid. So on a skillet, you're probably gonna want a, a, at least a tablespoon and a half of oil. We're gonna put a little bit more out here just cause it likes to flow around. And I'm gonna place mine in a row because that'll make it easier to manipulate when they're done. And you don't have to flip these or anything else. Okay, and we're gonna let those go for a couple minutes, about two minutes. All right, we're on medium heat. You don't want to go too hot. We just want to brown these to get that crispy texture on the bottom. And after about two minutes of browning, we're going to steam them. It's been about two minutes, so it's I can see the browning. So we're going to steam them. And you want to steam them for about four or five minutes. Check about halfway through. I added a little bit more water after the first two minutes. Okay, folks. They've been steaming for about four or five minutes. And there they are plate these up. Now in Japan, they serve these 
flat side up. But the way I look at it, since I went to all this trouble, pleating them, I wanna see the pleats. Okay, folks, here we go. Ooh, hot. so good. I love shrimp. Um, the Tabasco pepper really made this spicy. I love the, the vinegar, the contrast of the vinegar and the soy sauce and the dipping sauce with that chili, garlic chili on. Okay, folks, that's how you make um, gyoza or pot stickers on a Blackstone grill. Real simple. Again, it, it, you're going to get better when you pleat these dumplings. Again, don't over foam. You don't have to be fancy. I mean, you can just press them together if you want. Use a fork like you do a little pastry, whatever. This is just so delicious. Nice, crispy on the bottom. Gives you a little chewy texture. All right, folks. Challenge yourself. Not only on the Blackstone griddle, but in the kitchen. As far as I know, pretty much everybody likes pot stickers. And you can use whatever filling, minced pork, Minced pork is typically what Japanese use. Shrimp is my favorite. All right, I'm gonna finish this up as usual. I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.